and why you do see, uh, you know, in a lot of nations, people do eat them raw. Um, there, there is a way to check for it. We simply just don't. I also don't think they they like bleach their eggs in um in a lot of other nations. In America, we have like very white eggs for like all of our eggs. Like every egg I've ever seen, pretty much, except for like local farmer eggs are like stark white. Um, and I believe that is because we bleach them. We actually like chlorine wash them and it turns them white. It's it's safe apparently. I've eaten lots of eggs in my life, but um, but I think that's why. I think we bleach all our eggs. Okay, get out of here. In Australia, we make sure all of our eggs have salmonella. That's the way to do it. That's the real way to do it. All the plebs out there trying to avoid salmonella, they got it wrong. You got to ensure every egg has it. An equal amount of salmonella in every single egg. Hey, Tragic. How are you doing? Welcome on in, Tragic Porto. How you doing today? Hope you're well, of course. Hope you're well. Welcome on in. Put that stuff in there so we can take some more stuff. But I hope you're having a lovely day, Tragic. Hope the world's been treating you well. And uh, hello to all my lurkers. Since we've been streaming for a while, how's everyone doing? If you're here and I haven't spoken to you, I hope you're well. Thank you so much for being here, and I appreciate your time. Shout out to the lurkers. Okay, and we're going home now. We'll go home, uh, like, over here. We'll go We'll go to the left and then down, so we're revealing more areas. Playing glowing purple, uh, playing glowing purple rock. Is that the actual name of the game? Or is that like... I'm trying to think glowing purple rock. The only thing that's coming to my mind is um, Goth Girl's backpack in Backpack Battle. Is that the glowing purple rock? I don't know. I'm, I'm trying I'm trying to put it together. Oh, dude, Stone Shard is the go... Yeah, I'm dumb. That Stone Shard has the glowing purple rock. I should have... That's the game I'm literally playing. I should have realized that. Um, but yes, we're, we're playing some, we're playing some stone shard today. And it's going pretty well. It's stone shard. I, yeah, I'm dumb. I don't, brain empty, brain empty. I was like, hmm, glowing purple rock. I should know that one. And stone shard, of course. It's the game on screen right now. The whole, when you load in, like the home screen is like dominated by a giant glowing purple rock. It's all like off to the left floating there. I'm pretty sure. So I should, I should have known that. I should have known that. Maybe maybe it's time for a second cup of tea. Maybe we're going to have another cup of tea today. The brain is apparently not working. I actually kind of want one. I'm thinking about another cup of tea. Oh, in chat. So, I, you know, I'm trying to grow a beard, right? I've mentioned that before. We're, we're becoming a beard man. Um, and so I didn't look so disheveled. I decided to shave it last night. Not the whole beard, but trim it into, like, into, into shape. And it was really weird. I've never done that before. And I don't know if I did a good job. I'm like, I I kind of I kind of think my beard might look terrible, but I don't know. It's not, it's not grown in. It looks terrible in the sense, like, of how full it is. But, um, and I'm not going to go back for that point of interest. I was going to go get it, but I'm not going to. Um, but I just, I'm like, are the sides, like, the same height and stuff like that? I don't know. I don't know. I've just, all, my whole life, I've always full shaved. Except I had a mustache for, like, six months. Um... But that's, you know, the mustache is much easier to, like, to form than, than the beard. So I'm kind of worried I look like an idiot. I'm kind of worried I have, like, a misshapen beard. I'm going to go to, like, the store and the cashier's going to laugh at me. I don't I don't think so, but I don't know. I've just never done it before. It was really weird. I had to Google. I was like, how do you shave a beard, yo? I, I, I could have probably just, like, called my dad or something. But I, I figured a YouTube video would actually be the best way to learn how to do it. Because I could physically see it happen, you know. I could, like, rinse and repeat. I could go back and watch the same stuff over and over. Um, I don't know. I don't really know why I walked in here. There's just, I'm not going to buy anything. I mean, maybe I would have bought this, but I already had that one. You know, you know, I could buy this. Mm, I, don't, I don't think I will. I don't think I will. It's 240 bucks. We don't have cash for that. You left out by a cashier. So funny to me, IDKY. I, I can confirm to you, as someone who spent a lot of their life as a cashier, I was a cashier from, like, 16 to, like, 22 or something. Um, I you be laughing at some customers. It happens. You just, it, it just happens. So, if, if you find that funny, I can assure you it is a thing that does happen. That is part of the real world, 100%. Roman learned shaving and first aid at the same time. How are you doing, Shanann? Yeah. Yeah. I've never, I've never cut myself too bad shaving. I use like a hand razor, but not a, uh, not like a straight razor. Not, not a proper like, you know, just razor. It has guards, so 
I've, I've never done too much damage. I've cut myself, but not too much damage. Um, what's the build? It's uh, just a standard a standard hunter um, hybrid bow and spear build. We don't have the bow part going yet, so it's kind of not hybrid yet. But it's meant to just be a standard hunter build. We're really low level, though. We're level four, so um, nothing, nothing too fancy. Okay, chat, we've done this before, where I decided to fight a wolf, and then the wolf killed me, and I was like, oh, how'd that wolf kill me? But I think we're going to do it again. This is exactly where we were. No, it's two. It's two. I don't want to fight two. It's, so I'm going to not do it. But this is exactly where we were when we died to wolves last time. The game keeps showing me more. It's like, are you sure? There's another wolf here. If you really wanted, we could fight just this one. But no, I think there's another one there. I think there's another one, so I'm going to go. Starting a yogurt collection in Zomboid. Let's go. I'm glad. I'm glad. That is awesome. I'm very happy to hear that. If you, if you if you would like, of course, feel free to post that in the Discord. That would that would be an appreciated picture. I saw I saw there was um in the meme in the meme channel in the Discord. Um I think it was Winter and Stone. I'm not sure. I can't exactly remember, but there were some folks that uh they posted some memes and they were really funny. The the memes from yesterday were good. I, I can't I don't even remember what it was I was laughing at, but I was laughing like hard. Something there was funny. Something something tickled my fancy. Tickled my funny bone. Okay, and we're just heading home now. Um, but yeah, I was—I—I I don't know what it was, but I was laughing. And if anyone wants the evil, uh, the evil within two is free right now. The evil within one was free recently on Epic Games. Evil within two is free right now. And I will mention it again. I said this earlier, but I'll mention it again. Um, I have a—I have a key to to a game called Mad Shot. I have a key to Mad Shot, and it's not for me. It's for you guys. It's a platformer where you shoot guns. It's made by the same the same people that made the Bloodline. Um, so just someone reach out to me and let me know you would like that key, please, and I will give it to you. Um, because I'm just I'm just sitting on it. I I I, I, I would like play the game. I would happily use the key, but I don't want to do that. that's not like fair. The key was not given for me to use. It's for the community. Um, so raffle for it. I thought about that, but I just like when I mentioned when I put it that it was in the Discord, no one said anything. Like, no one DM'd me. I was like, DM me, and I didn't add everyone. Um, so I just, I, I don't know if anyone wants it. So I'm just trying to find, like, if there's anyone in the community that's interested in platforms. You know, that is, that is, like, that's fine with me. Play EV2 win. What is EV2? Is that evil within? Is that how you, is that how you shorten it? Um, is that, like, the, the written shorthand for it? Um, probably never on stream. That'll, that'll probably not come to the stream. I will download it for free. I will own it, but I, will, I, don't, I don't know if it'll come to the stream. It's just like a long-form story game that I don't know if I'm down to play the whole thing. Unless EV2 is something else, in which case, let me know what you're talking about, and I'll check it out. Uh, but yeah, you, I, I've, I've never played Evil Within before. So, I mean, if I play the first one on my own time, maybe I'm going to be like, damn, this game's insane, let's play it. Um, so maybe I'll really enjoy it and want to play the whole thing on stream. But it's really tough to play long-form games like that on stream. Um, it's just both tough for, for me to consistently play them. Like, I, sometimes I just get bored, and I don't want to not finish them if I start them. And, um, viewership's not always the best for, for you know, story-based story, story -based games. So, it, it can be tough. Be a great Halloween stream. Yeah, and I've, I've been looking for something spooky to do for Halloween. I've been looking for something. Um, I, we've had some good suggestions from the community, so... I've been, you know, I don't know. But we, we may just stream Evil Within 2. Maybe, maybe. For for Halloween. Because I want to do some type of spooky game. I don't own any spooky games, though. I have none, like, already, like, that are mine. I can't go and play one. Um, so. But I want to I wanna do something. I want to do something. It would feel like a waste to go through all of October without a single scary stream. A single spooktacular stream. And we're back home. This, this was a fine little trip. And we made a lot of cash. This is this is a respectable amount of money, and we have some stuff in here. Yeah, the the ring. So, um, that was that was a really good, really really good trip. Uh, fixing the duelist doublet is gonna cost me like a thousand bucks. Actually, it's only six six thirty written value. Maybe it won't cost that much, um, but it'll cost a lot. It'll it'll be more expensive than like you know the gambeson. Um, like repairing that would be so. There will there will be some some you know prices you know some price to pay, but what we got is worth it. The, uh, the stuff that we got is, is lovely. Um, what does this sell for? 124? I could get four more coins in the first city for it, but I'm fine selling it there because I needed room to clear out the backpack. And I think I could get 
32 for this in the first city. I don't know. Um, I know I could only get 30 or 28 for the oil, so the oil is better to sell here. And how hungry am I? Not very hungry. We'll just wait till we travel. We'll travel back to the first city and then eat the uh, chicken there. The old chicken leg. All right, and give me an ID scroll. And then please be like the world's greatest ring. All right. Honestly, a pretty solid ring. Energy, resto, and health is pretty good. Um... I might even wear it instead of this. It's lesser It's lesser energy restoration because this has, like, you know, seven total. But this has, like, six energy on it, and this has none, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. So that would be a lot more energy for me. Maybe. Maybe I'll throw it on. Let me see what I can sell it for first. I can suggest you a game called Fear of Fear of Fathom. It's a, it's a really horror game. I'll try. I'll look into it. I mean, I'll try to remember to look into it. Of course, of course, post that in the Discord if, if you would like me to. Um, that is that is the very best way for me to, to remember to do anything, is the old Discord. And that was 400 bucks. I'll take my 400 bucks. Let's go back to uh, Osbrook now. But Fear of Fathom. Let me actually just second monitor that. Fear of Fathom. You might, you might hear a little bit of steam. Okay, no, 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 no. No noise happened. Very positive reviews from a couple of years ago. Doesn't seem to be the biggest game, like like the la largest reaching, but. Oh, it's free to play. I was like, how much is it? It's free. Okay. I mean, I would, I'd be down to check it out. I mean, it's literally free. Like, why not check it out? So I, I appreciate the suggestion there. I, I would check that out for sure. I, I will, you know, off stream, I'll look into it. And maybe, maybe try it out. Oh, we need to sleep. We need to sleep. So, oh, we didn't repair our thing. It's probably cheaper to repair here anyways. This this bad boy. Um, Just, just put it in the backpack for now. But we'll sleep and then we'll we'll get the this repaired and then we'll get going on a quest. Because we've been here for like an hour and we've done no quests. We've, we've done like little actual content. There was just some wandering we had to do. I mean, had is a little bit of a strong, strong uh, statement there. There was some wandering we chose to do. But it was it was a good upgrade. And this dodge chance, we should be, instead of uh, 7, we should be at 12, right? Which means with the uh, chest on, we'll go up to, like, over 20. Oh, 10. Why just 10? Did the other belt have dodge on it? I don't know. Either way, we'll, we'll have a respectable amount of dodge. Uh, let's have a chat. I'm just looking for rumors. Brigand camp, I'll take it. Let's have a chat. I paid you 50 bucks for it. I didn't mean to. I was spamming bear territory. Okay. I mean, there's there will come a day when I can hunt bears, but by that time I normally won't be needing the money. But you know, it's still good for bear fat. I you know I wouldn't mind coming across a bear territory. Late game, so I I'm, I guess I'm glad we we know where it is. I already rented a room. Never mind. Get me out of here. We have a thousand bucks. This will be like another five hundred bucks. I don't know. It'll probably be like the five hundred we're earning. We'll go into the uh, the duelist leather to to fix it up. So we'll be at a thousand bucks again. I, don't, well, I just I'm trying to think about how long it's gonna take before we can get the nomad bow. Probably two or three, two or three, uh, two or three levels. Duelist spear build. Well, I wasn't really intending to to wear the like to the light gear like the duelist stuff, but we found it from a grave, so I'm gonna throw it on. We might go heavier armor late game, um, but like I'm not gonna not wear the duelist gear if we have it. it it's it's like it's the best chest armor for light armor builds, arguably. Um, so. I will, I will wear it for now, at least. Maybe late game, we'll, we'll take it off, but I'm, I'm happy to have it. Yeah, 800 bucks for repair is pretty dang pricey, but I mean, like, what am I going to not not use it? Not use the, the, the best armor I have? Um, so, yeah, as, as expected, we're pretty much right back where we were. Actually, a little less. We had, like, 1,100, I think, so. We're slightly, slightly poorer than, than we were. That's okay. We can sell this and make the cash back. And are we hungry? A little hungo? Yeah, we can eat the chicken, drink the water. And we can do another beer run at some point, too, just to keep scaling up the cash. Every every bit of money we can make is, is always good, especially if it's money that doesn't give us EXP, because the, the higher level we are, you know, the, the tougher the enemies will be, kind of, so. Just just money that's, like, free is always good. Free money goes pretty hard, as it turns out. Do we have meds? This is plenty of meds for, for a tier one. We are the most geared dude in the world doing a tier one. Our worst, pe like, our lowest armor is seven, and it's the duelist doublet. We are, we are more than geared for a little tier one. Okay, I'll take the knife back out. We'll carry this around with us. We won't hunt for now, but we'll, I just want to carry it so I don't forget later. 
Um, so just get in the habit of running around with a knife out. Running around with my little knifer. Okay. And we this piece of cloth will repair this later. I'm glad we kept it, because we do need to repair it later. Have we already done all three? No, no, no. We just walked down there, I guess, coincidentally. I thought maybe the uh, the dungeons have reset. I don't know though. Didn't we do didn't we do two two dungeons? Maybe the dungeons have reset. I don't know. I don't know, chat. I am unsure. Alright, let's go over there. Is pike the same as spear? Um So I, I don't know if there's there's no weapon class in this game for, for pikes. And I don't know if there's a, a weapon titled pike in this game. But in the real world, a pike is a spear, yes. Um, a pikeman is a spearman, generally. I, I, th I think there's, like, some subtle difference. Um, like, I, I think a pike is a specific type of weapon, like, a specific type of spear. Um, but, yeah, so, yes, mostly, I think. I think the answer is yes. Pike is spear. A pike is a pole arm. Okay, fair enough. So, not, not exactly a spear. Ooh, pike. Showed me a fish. Pike weapon. Pike weapon. Yeah, it, it looks it looks pretty speary to me. It looks very much like a spear. There might be some like defined difference, but a lot of the images I'm looking at here are very much like a spear. I learned that from Battle Bros. Yeah. But um, but yeah, I it's it's very spear-like if nothing else. Okay. And I, what is, what is a pole arm? How do you define what is or isn't a pole arm? I don't I don't know what what makes a pole arm a pole arm. I don't know much about you know medieval combat. I don't know much about old weapons, melee combat weapons. I don't I don't know the difference between like a short sword and a dagger and a knife or whatever. All that all that knowledge eludes me. Yeah, we we dug the graves here. I think we did a quest here and it just has already reset. In reality, they're all pole arms. Fair enough. Pole arm equal knife plus other metal bit on a stick. Oh, okay, okay. How you doing, Nordic Warhorn? How you doing today? Um, so fair enough, fair enough. So, so I guess like spears are pole arms then. So all spears are pole arms. So, I don't know. I don't know. The the answer that I've come to the or the conclusion I've come to is that it's all weird. It is it is all weird. Pikes, spears, pole arms, probably all the same stuff. Do the class spears with arms? You can use it with one hand. Pikes is spears. You have to use it with two hands. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We are at 22 dodge chance. That's what I wanted to check. Um, so that's a reasonable amount. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm very unsure of, this, of the uh, specifics. But there might be a weapon in this game even kind of called a pike. I don't, I don't know what um, specifically Tragic was asking uh, in relation to. But there might be a war pike in this game. That might be the name of a weapon. And it is a spear type weapon if it exists. No, I didn't mean to step in. Whatever. Just a misclick. And we could skin the bat, but I won't be skinning the bat. There's the, I mean, I'll skin this one, but like, it, it just gives them meat morsels or whatever. It's not good stuff. I don't want that stuff. Ooh. Blue rings abound, yo. This is this is a fine ring. It gives health and EXP. Um, I would I would happily put that on if it was rolled well. Because we're just wearing this for the energy resto. If this has like health, if this has the same rolls as this, Fizzrez energy, I would like be so soaked. So, Or just good stuff, health or whatever. So, you know, I'd be down with that. Like, it's just a longer stick with a pointy end. Yeah. That, that, I'm, that's, that's, that, I don't know, you know. I'm sure, I'm sure, like, a military expert would have a lot of, like, very specific definitions for all this, but I'm sure the dudes on the, I, dang it. Well, the stream has officially started, everyone. Welcome to the stream. We officially started. I'm sure the dudes on the, the battlefield didn't care. I'm sure they were like, yeah, pike, spear, whatever. Just, just put it in the enemy's chest. Just make sure it stabs them real good. Are you, are you upgraded? Why are you throwing rocks at me? He upgraded again. No. I don't know if I can fight a large ghoul. I'm gonna try to immobilize it in the poison. We might die here. Okay, okay, we could kill it. That was actually easier than I thought. Um, I was a little scared. You want to think RPG uh, games have stricter definition of weapon cat categories than IRL? Yeah, it, it, like I was saying, like you know, the, the 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 people that are making weapons are just making you know, 
They're just, they're just, they're just putting sharp things on sticks. They're just molding blades into sharp edges. And again, I'm sure you could, you could put any, any, you know, put it in whatever box you want. But it's all just weapon. It all just stabs. Does it stab? Yes. Then it's weapon. I think it's much like a distinction between swords. Yeah. It's it, at the end of the day, they're all swords or whatever. You know, you could have a, a gladius or a saber, or I think saber might just be like the French word for for sword. So. Um, but, you know, you could have, like, a million different things, and it was just a sword. Yeah, at the end of the day, Messer and Katana are both swords. Yeah. What if it, What about if it bonks? Well, out of the bonk, the bonks, I also, I'm like, I call maces and hammers and everything all the same stuff. So, I, I get the bonks all messed up. You say, give me a sword, and people would know what you're talking about. Yeah. If you, if you said, give me a sword, and someone handed you, like, like you know, a, 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 a short sword instead of, like, a, I don't know. A rapier. You wouldn't be like, this isn't a sword. You'd still be like, okay, this is this this will stab equally good, or at least close to equal. Maybe maybe your preferred preferred weapon might be a little better if you're you know an expert with it. But it all stabs. It all stabs. Or a dirk dagger. Yeah. It's all just words for the same stuff. Eh, one thirty six. That'll we don't have anything else. That'll probably sell for a little bit. Might as well hold on to it. And I should actually put in a fair bit of effort. To not get hit. I don't want to bang up my chest piece at all. Um, it just costs a lot of money to repair, so I should actually like avoid combat when cost when possible. Or avoid not avoid combat, avoid taking damage. I should I should you know focus on immobilizing and staying far away and stuff. Actually playing well. I guess nah, we're not gonna wear it. I'm not. It it could be cursed maybe, but I'm just gonna leave it behind. I don't want to spend an ID scroll on it. We don't have that many. Okay, and how close to level 5 are we? Not that far off. Not super close, but not that far off. I misclicked. No. It's fine. It's fine. Did we go all the way down here? We did. All right. I want to find a secret room, chat. Looking for the secret rooms. I would love a priest staff from it, just for healing, or... Uh, of course, a Gwinnels. I don't know if there's any, any spears I could get from uh, a secret room. Maybe, but I don't think so. I think not. I'll go ahead and make sure we, we try to at least try to immobilize them. It didn't work, but any any time we're you know not taking damage is a good thing, so I'm okay with that. Mm, it's blue, but I don't want it. If you die, can you try rot, rot dagger? Sure, absolutely. That's that's a fine build for next. I love right on target dagger. It's it's a really good build. I will I will happily do that. Hopefully we don't die. So hopefully we're not doing it, but but yeah, if if I if this character falls, rot dagger is easily, easily up next. I would be more than down. Dagger builds are just fun. They're just fun. And I was talking about this in Battle Brothers too. Um I love when games make daggers and like, you know, lesser weapons like that viable. Like I don't like when the dagger is just an early game weapon or just a utility tool that you just you just scale out of. I like when you can you can use your little stabber the whole game. My tiny little pokey stick. I want to use it forever. So I appreciate that. I like that daggers are, you know, like, they're just as strong as any other weapon. You know, a dagger build is just as good as, like, a sword build. I mean, there's some balance discrepancy, I'm sure. Uh, you know, at, 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 during any given patch, one will be stronger than the other. But it's, it's not so significant. Like, you know, it's not like, oh, you should always switch to two-handed late game or whatever. Uh, you can just do whatever you want. I like that. I like that. Okay. This dungeon's been really smooth, but it should have been. Like, it, it's been great, but it should have been great. I was expecting greatness, so I'm happy to have had it. If we if we were... Oh, no! If we were struggling with this dungeon, though, um, that would be really bad. That would be a, a bad thing for us as a, as a whole. And we, we have to we have to break. Yeah, I was gonna say we don't have any. If there's any lockpicks, we'll have to break the chests or whatever. I'll just leave it. Whatever. In Kingdom, in Kingdom Come Deliverance, the dagger is only is only used for stealth kills. It's my only complaint about the game. Would have loved if you could spec into a wrestling build where you have the dagger to take out high level knights. That would be fun. That would be fun. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I don't like when daggers are used. I mean, I, I mean maybe if stealth is like a big part of the game or something. But when daggers or other weapons like that, like early game weapons, just lose utility or lose value late game, and are maybe used for only utility but often used for nothing, I don't like that. I like when you can use the same stuff all game. Maybe not the exact same weapon, but the same weapon classes. 
Okay, and we're just going through for EXP. We won't really get loot, because if there's a treasure chest, we can't open it. But we can get EXP, so I'll do that. I'll do that. We'll get some EXP. Okay, and he died. Let's go. Secret room? Final room? Secret room? No, whatever. Oh, and it's not the final room. There's there's other stuff over here. I didn't realize. We a big part, and to be fair, you can take out high levels and some good sneaking and stealth kill. It keeps armor intact, too. Oh, okay. It's like daggering from Battle Brothers. I didn't... Uh, does, I, does, um, does armor work like that in Kingdom Come Deliverance? Where you have to... Um like you if you if the armor is too banged up you can't pick it up from the fight and either keep it or sell it or whatever you actually have to keep like high quality armors i didn't know that at all that's really cool if so if i'm understanding that correctly and i guess we could try to skin it it just gives a ghoul pelt which is worth like nothing 30 bucks right 40 bucks but yes yeah, that's that'll sell for like 20. it's not worth the space maybe on the way out we can pick it up because we have nothing but you know whatever I'm pretty sure you can pick up banged up armor. Oh, okay, okay. You just have to, like, repair it then, which is maybe costly. Um, or, I don't know, maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe it just looks different. Um, but if, if stealth is important, then that's not so bad. You know, if stealth is good, there's at least, you know, that. Daggers can be used for that, and you can just go, like, a stealth build or whatever. That's, that's maybe not so bad. But I, Kingdom Come Deliverance, like I was saying earlier, it looks like a fun time. I, I'd be down for it. It looks like something I'd be down for. I forgot I didn't have lock picks. I was like, wait, why am I punching doors? And then I was like, no, 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 that's why. When I went to open that chest, I was like, open the chest. And I was like, why didn't I, why didn't I open the door? Because I don't have lock picks, I'm sad. I'm gonna try some of the heavy armor and, uh, with dagger and light shield. Dude, I that's, that's the wasp build. Well, no, the wasp build is like heavy armor and a tower shield and a little dagger. But it's like, that's one of my favorite builds in all games. I've tried to make it work in this game, too. Where, you, where you're just a heavily armored dude with a little stinger. You, you, you stab slow, but you can't die. You just do one damage every turn, and you take none, and eventually you win. You just, you just bore the enemies to death. Alright, that was fine. That was a fine little dungeon right there. If I do say so myself, folks, that was a pretty good little dungeon. No, but that was genuinely a uh, pretty solid, pretty solid little dungeon. Uh, decent loot. I probably should have picked up that ghoul hide. Um, but decent loot. You know, this ring is good. Um, maybe even good enough to wear. What are you? Oh, was this a ghoul that chased me to the edge of the map? That's, I was like, what's there a ghoul doing out here? Because that must have been a, a ghoul that was chasing me. Um, and I, I guess I'll take the other thing. You know, we have, we have the room for it. But we got the ring, which is worth some money or could be worn, and some other stuff, you know. Decent loot, easy combat. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Um, yeah, heavy armor, dagger, and light shield. You That that works really well. It's, uh, the buckler giving you extra counter chance, and then the, the daggers also having the extra counter chance. Um, you, you can reach super high counter levels really easily. I'm sure the, the, the heavy, heavy armor, uh, dagger, light shield will be really good. I'm sure that'll be a very functional build. Cause da da the daggers are good, um, and you don't need you don't need to dual wield them or anything. Dual wielding the daggers might not even be the best. I think right on target might be the best dagger build. I think that's generally accepted as the you know if you're gonna do one for for pure damage or whatever, pure pure effectiveness. Right on target dagger is uh, the way to go if you want a dagger build. I think I think that's generally accepted. I don't know. This is this game doesn't quite have like the uh, you know no one's really min maxed stone shard for for any given patch. Like if this was like Dota or League of Legends or whatever, I could tell you confidently, you know, this is the correct way to do it because a thousand people have played in the past thirty seconds and they've they've you know they've min maxed it via via just you know them doing it over and over. But stone shard is small enough still that I can you know I can kind of guess what is maybe the strongest, but. Without my personal experience, I, there's no way of real, really knowing for sure. I can't comment unless I've done it. But right on target dagger was really good. I've done it before and it was indeed powerful. Right on target's just really good. They they like they gave it a little nerf not that long ago, um, because it was really good, but it's still super strong. The little nerf was not enough to to kick it out of the meta, in my opinion. It seems quite strong still, but maybe my opinion's not worth much because I die all the time. If you're like, yeah, your opinion, sure, but you haven't even made it to level five in a year, then I'm like, fair enough. Um, I might, I might just be wrong. Strongest build right now definitely has to be two-handed mace. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I I've done two-handed mace recently, I think, and it was fine. I didn't get that far, so I can't call, you know, I can't comment that much. But two-handed sword was was really really good when I did it. 
If I had to, if I had to put my, put my fingers on the, on you know, on a number or whatever for best build, I might say two-handed sword. Not that the maces are bad or anything. It's definitely good, but my my two-handed sword build was was like the the strongest build I've ever done. Hey everybody, Quist Gaming here. If you're enjoying the content, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It truly makes a difference. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.